me again the second question that I received, which I thought was related to the first one about why I create so much, is Tahisha, what's so important with creating? This is something that has always been incredibly important to me. And during this crazy time of COVID, it's become kind of a central thing in my life, even more than ever. When I was a kid, I was encouraged, along with my sisters, to make stuff. I would always go into the woodwork shop at Langton House, and there was a carpenter storyteller called Greville Hyatt, who I've written about and I've spoken about, I think, as well. And Greville would encourage me just to grab a bit of wood and a nail and a hammer and some glue and conjure it all together and make something. And he told me once that whatever you do, it doesn't have to be planned out from the beginning. You don't have to think that you're going to make a frame for a picture or a table or a chair or whatever it is in life. He said, the joy is just creating. And I was six years old when he told me that, and it's stuck in my head, and it's become this central thing to me. Sometimes, if I'm depressed, and I've got myself into a glummy state, I'll be sitting at my desk here, and I'll open a new Word document, and I'll write a poem, or a line of poetry, or a line of description, or a letter, or anything. And often I'll just delete that thing afterwards because it was just a medicine, a tonic, to get me from one depressed state into an enthusiastic state again. And that's really incredibly important to me, um, to use creativity as a, a kind of a, a healing matrix. I know that all the creative people that I'm acquainted with have thrived under um, COVID and lockdown. And it's because they're not just sitting on their thumbs, they are using the experience, the solitude, the quiet, um, to make something. And my message to anyone who is interested is don't care what anyone thinks about whatever you're creating. You don't have to show it to anyone. Don't care about whether it's got a beginning, middle and end. Start in the middle somewhere, if it's writing. If you're making something out of wood, you know, just start, you know, just create for the sake of creation. And this is really feeding into something that I'm gonna be talking about so much more in the near future. Um, it's a very wide project that I've established and I'm keeping under wraps for now but it's in dedication to creation and creation itself.